It's 7 a.m. It's earlier than I normally am awake. John is sleeping. I have to get out of here because I'm getting kicked out of the apartment because John's having clients over. So I'm going to Natalie's house and this is what I ate in a day. And I'm gonna have some orange juice right now. It's just me and Snickles awake. Snickles. So I wanna be on camera this early. Uh, just fresh, unpasteurized orange juice from Metro. I'm very thirsty. Then I'm gonna have some water. And then I'm going for breakfast with John's family at nine in the morning. I just got to Nat's house, it's 7.40, and look at the nice meditation setup she has here. This is why we do group meditation at Nat's house. I just thought I would show you this because she's got the perfect view. Look at this, window, Buddhas. So I'm gonna be doing my own little meditation right now. So at 9.30, I went to Bloomers in Toronto. It's a vegan bakery and cafe, but it turns out the menu was not available till 11. But we were meeting John's mom and sister for breakfast, so we had pastries, we had a carrot cake, and a blueberry basil scone, and a homemade bagel with vegan cream cheese and jam, and it was so yummy. Plus, I got a cookie to go, which I haven't eaten yet. And it's now 4.30, and I've been editing for a very long time here in Nat's apartment. So I'm gonna eat this dream cookie that I got to go. It's basically like an empire cookie. Remember those when you weren't vegan? There's jam in the middle, shortbread, icing on top. I know, it's all I've eaten, carbs and sugar. What are you gonna do? This cookie is amazing. Nat has nothing I can eat. She is not vegan. And I'm not gonna make a salad right now. Ooh, beet hummus. Maybe I can eat that. I mean, I could eat that beet hummus, but she doesn't have any crackers. So I have to finish editing a different video. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna have to wait till she gets home and we'll make dinner. I just don't wanna eat all her food when she's not here. And then she's planning on making it for dinner, but I have to stay here all night. So I will be eating at Nat's house. So I'll check in with you at dinner time. But she's also making me work out. So I don't know when we're gonna eat and I'm starving. <clears throat> it's 5.40 and I'm eating an apple. Just like my appetizer before dinner. Hopefully I get to eat dinner before Natalie makes me work out. Or I mean, hopefully we don't work out at all. She's not even listening to me. Do we have to work out, Nat? Um. I would like to if we're going to Mexico <laughs> and we're going to be in a bikini in, I don't know, what's the date? A week, in one week. Yeah, there you go. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you have a killer body. No, I do not. Listen, I eat a lot of carbs. So okay? do I. I. All Christmas is a carb Christmas and this is what I was thinking. Hey, okay. I'm still on a carb Christmas. Today I ate a bagel, a scone, a cookie. <laughs> Yes, but your birthday is not in the winter. I was thinking this. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. Birthday in the winter sucks, A, because you're usually doing something really cold. Nobody wants to go out. And then you try and fix it by going somewhere hot. And then when you have it you after Christmas, you still have your Christmas belly. So it's like a no-win situation. That's true. I have a pre-Christmas birthday, so. Right. There. I, know. I don't like working out, though. <laughs> so I don't have to cook. Nat's cooking. She made vegan chicken, and she's cooking some veggies, and we're boiling some pasta. Pasta with yeah. pesto sauce. Kale and oregano pesto. I've never had it. Non-GMO, vegan, gluten-free, yeah. no nuts added. That's this, that good brand. I found it downstairs. This is amazing. Kit sunflower kitchen. Sunflower. Oh, sunflower kitchen. This, mm. is the, this is the hummus you like. Yeah. Okay, wait. How much do you think I should put? It's like that? I'm at a restaurant. One. I think more than that. Two. That's good. I think that's good. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Looks good. Good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it smells so delicious. That pesto looks amazing. Sweet, I can't wait to eat it. Also, that's gonna make a really good cover for now. Okay, what what did you say that pasta is? Okay, 
You shall continue eating, as shall I. This dish is fantastic, isn't it? You said it makes you want to dance, and I said it's because it's vegan. Ariel, do you want me to dance? Yes, I do, actually. Okay. Okay. Huh? I will. And this is Holden Matthias, dancing for vegan food. <laughs> Okay, so it's eight o'clock and I am waiting for my video to export, always exporting, and drinking this ginger tea. And now I'm gonna read this book that Natalie has on her shelf, Working with Spirit Guides. Sound familiar? You can watch that video in my meditation and more playlist about talking and communicating with your spirit guides. Um, and that's my what I ate in a day. Hope you like it. First one of 2016. More to come for sure this year since you guys like them so much. Um, you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and follow me on Snapchat. Hot for food to see what I'm eating every day. And thanks for subscribing and for being here and for watching and for liking and for sharing. And I'll see you guys Friday for hashtag Ask Lauren. Peace out.